Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, says the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. And as we prepare now to enter into our worship, <coughs> let us begin as we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all of the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God Amen. in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle, St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit as you are also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the Holy Ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their, Their message, message goes, goes out through all, all the earth. earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their, Their message, message goes out through all the earth. earth. Not a word nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, 
and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out to all the earth. Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthew, the Apostle and the Evangelist. And as we just heard in today's Gospel, we hear from Matthew himself under divine inspiration of his own calling and his first encounter, uh, at least formally, with our Lord. And of course, in this rather brief but very poignant part of his own gospel, Matthew displays how the Lord showed him uh, the generosity and compassion of not only calling him, but recognizing how the world might see him as being a tax collector, as sinful and uh, gathering with others uh, of the like profession. And as we've heard the gospel today, the, the Pharisees are quite upset and go to the disciples and say, you know, why, why is your master doing this? And of course, Jesus overhears them. And of course, the response becomes uh, uh, really a, a paradigm. He says, you know, sick people don't need a physician, or excuse me, people, well people don't need a physician, sick people do, healthy people don't. Uh, but we see here in this gospel passage that when we look at how this changed Matthew's life, his recording of this very important moment, not only in his life, but in the public ministry of Jesus, is situated in his gospel because it reminds us that Christ, like yesterday's gospel, is inviting and calling all of us to come to him. And when we look at St. Matthew and the other tax collectors, they not only accepted that invitation, but we see how quickly and without hesitation they came to follow the Lord, and then Matthew makes this invitation for him to come into his home. And you know, in, not only in ancient times, but if we think about it even in today's world, you know, that invitation to come into one's home, uh, to sit and to have dinner, is really an opening and a symbol of opening oneself up and trusting and offering not just hospitality, but really a, a, a key insight into one's life. And for the Jewish people, welcoming someone into their home was almost paramount to welcoming them into their family. And there's this great understanding that that's what Jesus is doing with St. Matthew. And Matthew is reciprocating. 
And it sets up for us then that great paradigm that we not only accept the invitation to follow the Lord and to indeed hear his voice and to uh, obey his words, but we too, like St. Matthew, are called to welcome Christ into our hearts, which is the whole home of our soul. And as we do that, we see that the Lord also accepts that invitation from us. I think so many times, you know, we think about the Lord calling and us accepting, but you know, there's also, I think, a beautiful part of it. The Lord will never not accept an contrite, sincere invitation into one's heart, into their soul, into their life. And Matthew, the tax collector, gives us a beautiful example of that and then sets it up and says, well, you know, if you are to be a disciple and also, also an apostle and also an evangelist, then indeed, not only do you have to respond to the call of Christ, but you must invite Christ into your house. You must invite Christ into your life, into all that you are. As we celebrate this feast of the Apostle St. Matthew, uh, let us ask the Lord to help us so that through our baptismal call too, we may be the best of evangelists in not only proclaiming the truth, but living that truth and being instruments of hospitality. My dear brothers and sisters, with humble and contrite hearts, we turn to the Lord today, having listened to his word. We now bring our prayers to the Father with courage and faith. Let us pray for church leaders. May the grace and mind of Christ be their guide and their strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all in civil power and authority, may Christ strengthen their conviction for peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all who are facing difficult trials and challenges in their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For our faith community, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit continue to make us holy in the sight of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all of our sick who we continue to commend to the Lord, especially those affected in any way by this pandemic, that the Lord may give them and all who care for them strength, health, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all of our personal intentions, for those intentions listed in our parish book of prayer, for all those we promise to remember, and all that we bring now before the Lord in the silence of our hearts today. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For Harold and Eva Turner, for whom we offer Mass today, and for all of the souls of the faithful departed, that they who have died may find eternal rest and peace in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Almighty and eternal God, hear the prayers we offer as we celebrate St. Matthew. We ask that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. Through Christ. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set aside for us in your hands for praise and for our goodness, for our good and for the whole church. As we 
celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out, as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> to you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving thanks, he gave, said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and your resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. And to us also, your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these things good, O Lord. You fill them with life, bless them, and you bestow them <coughs> upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but for us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
I did not come to call the just, but sinners, says the Lord. Let us pray. Sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray, grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. 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 Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.